Prince Harry felt out of his depth during his latest public appearance with his wife Meghan Markle, who did not reciprocate his unconscious support, according to a body language expert. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex appeared on stage at the National Association for the Advancement of Coloured People NAACP, Image Awards on Saturday to accept the President's Award in recognition of special achievement and distinguished public service. Past recipients of the prestigious award include Muhammad Ali, Jesse Jackson, Colin Powell, Condoleezza Rice, LeBron James and Rihanna. But Prince Harry appeared uncomfortable during their television appearance, according to psychologist and body language expert Darren Stanton. Speaking on behalf of Slingo, Mr. Stanton told that, footage of Harry and Meghan during their recent appearance at the NAACP Awards makes for interesting viewing. Harry was not looking like his normal, relaxed self. Instead, his face was flushed and he displayed odd body language while up on stage. Sometimes when people are anxious they will smile nervously or hold something, like a coffee cup, for reassurance. In this situation, Harry is gripping the award as a means of reassurance. His facial muscles appear tense and he isn't smiling. It suggests Harry was feeling uncomfortable, but went ahead with the appearance in support of Meghan. If you notice the angle of Harry's body in relation to Meghan's, he pretty much has his posture turned to the left so he is facing her. This demonstration is known as matching and mirror and signifies that he and Meghan have a great rapport, but in this context, it can mean so much more. We already know that the couple have an incredible connection, but Harry's body position here is almost an unconscious way of him feeding off of Meghan's confidence on stage. The couple bagged the honor for their work through the Archule Foundation, which they launched in 2020. Through this project, the couple have supported efforts to tackle the COVID-19 pandemic and focused their attention on the Black Lives Matter movement and fighting for racial justice. During the couple's speech, Harry thanked the black community for welcoming me so warmly, while Meghan, who brought her mother Doria Ragland to the awards show, said she couldn't be prouder. Meghan did not appear hampered by the same anxieties as her husband, Mr. Stanton claimed. He explained, Meghan, by comparison, was super confident. Her body language was calm and her dialogue was well delivered. What I did find bizarre was that she doesn't reciprocate Harry's body language by turning her body towards his to show the same unconscious support he does. Instead, Meghan positioned herself front on to deliver her piece directly to the camera. It's clear Harry felt out of place at being honored at the awards, while Meghan was much more comfortable with the adulation and the attention that came with it and made sure to soak up the ceremony's atmosphere. The couple were honored for their work through the Archule Foundation, which has supported efforts to tackle the COVID pandemic and focused their attention on the Black Lives Matter movement and fighting for racial justice. The couple both wore ensembles by black designers out of respect for the civil rights organization. Meghan's flowing blue gown is by Christopher John Rogers, while Harry's tux is by Oswald Boateng. The awards show appearance marks Meghan and Harry's first major Hollywood appearance since moving to California in 2020.